residents here and I'm going to pull a porcelain handle for you guys and talk about that process because handles can be tricky and like April mentioned earlier I'll be teaching in a really amazing class um, this fall about tea and tea cultures and we'll be looking at um, how tea influences the wear so how, how tea how the different teas from the different regions influence the tea wear so the different shapes of tea bowls teapots if you're interested you can sign up with us it's gonna be really fun so I pre-pull my handles. Um, I've um, wedged up some clay here. I use Helios. So this is a, a mug. This is like my typical mug shape. And it's leather hard at this point. I trimmed it. And so I usually like pre-pull a nice carrot. And I, it's tapered. And I do this with my finger. So it's sort of like fatter in the middle and then sort of tapers towards the edges. And then I also leave it fatter up here and then skinnier at the bottom. And you see I rotate this to get it really nice and even. You need to get the camera on. Isn't that on me? <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. Don't make me yet. So about turn it. You have to turn it. <laughs> no, the handle. What? Yep, that. Turn this? Yep. Have yeah. you never worked a tripod? Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, perfect, perfect. Good? All right. So as much as I clip it, I just clip it with my fingers. I will do about 10 handles at a time when I do my production. Um, and now I'm just going to do one. So it's about here. And, and um, I want this to be like really nice and clean. And I could do that with a knife. But what I like is I like finding like a sharp edge and just sort of pushing down on it. It gives me this like super mm -hmm. clean flat surface here. And then um, put this aside. So I'm going to score my mug. And I don't work with slip, I just work with water and the clay and then I just like score the hell out of it like this. And I sort of create slip by doing that. So I score it. I go pretty deep. If you've worked with porcelain, you know it doesn't like to be attached. It can be like really tricky, it likes to crack. So if you score really well, you can like prevent that. I score it on here too. So I really get in there. And then I do the same thing to the handle. <clears throat> I find that handles that are pulled off the pot look like they're growing out of the pot, so they look like an organic part of the whole shape. It's really nice. So I get the whole thing wet, including my fingers. And now I'm going to use a lot of pressure to press the handle into the pot. And that's going to attach the two pieces. And so because I, this pot is pretty thin, I have to support it on the inside. And so I just sort of slide my fingers across the handle and into the pot. So I keep doing that. I'm going to pick it up here. And you see how my pinky is supporting the handle and keeping it up. I'm not letting it flop down at all. Because um, once you get a kink into a porcelain handle, you'll never get it out again. So it's really important to like keep the handle up and make sure it doesn't kink. So here I'm going to support it with my thumb as I keep pressing it into my pot just to really securely attach it so it doesn't come off when I pull it. Now watch me, as I'm gonna put my mug down, I support the handle, keep it at that same angle, and then pick it back up. And now I'm ready to pull. So that's really important, never let go of your handle so it doesn't like start flopping around. And so now I'm pulling it to make it skinnier. And I'm using my thumb mostly and my index finger, and I pull only on the edges. So I'm leaving the middle fat and then have those nice tapered edges. And um, that way you have a handle that you can actually like hold on to that's not like too thin and too strappy because I want to match my cup too. So I keep pulling, it's going to get longer and longer. This is about right, but it's a little long, right? So I'm just going to snip it again with my fingers. <laughs> and now I'm going to want, I want this like, I want it to like arc up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb in here and just sort of push in there. And that gives it that nice lift. And now again, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to flip it, but I'm going to support the handle with this other hand until I lay it down. And then you're going to get this like, really nice curve in here. And so I'm just going like, to adjust it, adjust the height and the length. And then it's going to just like terminate down here. And so one thing I like to do is I like to just put a little bit of clay down here 
um, to like make the connection stronger and give it a more finished look. And this is my favorite trick. So what I do for that is I make a little, little coil about this big and I place it between these three fingers like this and then I do this underwater so I, I rub my thumb sort of like on it but I do this like under here so it's nice and lubricated and so I'm creating a Toblerone bar <laughs> porcelain Toblerone Vanilla. bar Vanilla. you all know what I'm, yeah the white chocolate kind <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about right so I have this like nice triangle and this is perfect for like just like sort of sticking it in here see how it fits mm -hmm. it's really nice and I'm just going to use my pinky to like push it in there. And this is basically it. I have one of these um, white finishing sponges I like to use to like get my fingerprints off of it. Clean it up nicely. And up here. And that's it. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.